Okay, so OAC, Divisional State Apparel. Gone, basically. Gone. That's good. I like it. Good problem, right? Yeah. When you look at coming to these events, uh, your booths seem to do pretty well. Is it worth coming to events like this to sell out of stuff? Yeah, it's good to come here and kind of see the people we deal with. Uh, they like to, you know, chat it up, plan, plan for next year and things like that. So it's good to have a face-to-face -face interaction as well. Uh, so when I look at it, you know, you guys are always introducing new lines. You know, I go to Defense, they're always making new, new products. You're always doing new things. Yeah. Hats is the big one I've seen yeah. lately. Hats, windbreakers. Yeah. Are you going into every market? Is there anything you won't go into? Uh, not, not that I can think of right now. I just, we're just kind of going with the flow, going with what people like, and uh, you know that's how that's what we add. You know, that's what, that's what the people want. Yeah. You know, I look at Net, uh, Coach Shuck. Coach Shuck is a genius. First off, can you turn around and grab that backpack? Oh, he's the man. That thing. Uh, Nike. I'm leaving with this backpack today, <laughs> FYI. That will be mine. And I wear their neck gaiter everywhere. Yeah. Speaking of neck gaiters, you made the Ohio neck gaiters yeah. and the OEC neck gaiters. They're next level, by the way. When you design these gaiters, and how, how much demand is there for gaiters and face coverings? Uh, yeah, everybody needs them for, to wrestle, or at least to get them to the event. So uh, we, we just provide that option to, uh, you know, use it for school colors. So it's we're, we're always doing them. Okay, so you have the best podcast <laughs> on the Internet right now, yeah. but you don't even watch it or listen to it, The Barbarian Hour. Yeah. You even caught a Barbarian Hour episode yeah, yet. Yeah, I have. I what watched, one? I watched the Shuck one. You watched the Shuck one? Yeah. Okay, you got to start watching. Yeah, I mean, when we have Lauren on, you got to, you know, Lauren's amazing. I did watch some of the Lauren ones too. Lauren's amazing, yeah. right? Hump, Coach Hump. Yeah. His shirt's a big seller. I watched a little bit of that. I've watched a little bit of all of them. I just, my attention span is like. <laughs> well, Jared puts it on Spotify yeah. and he puts it on the Apple Play Store. I know. So, I mean, it, there's so many options to watch it. It is. YouTube's, you know, me, I'm a Neanderthal. I just go with YouTube, but. You got some great people you've been interviewing. It's, it's, yeah. And then Hannah Mears, she's yeah. been, have, you, have you seen any yeah. or heard yeah. Hannah at all? Yeah. Hannah's amazing. Yeah. She's it's next level. So job. what is the next big thing for you guys besides these OAC things? There's like Olympic trials coming up. It got yeah. moved to Texas. The Olympics, you were supposed to go. I don't yeah. know if you can go anymore. What's the deal? Got my, I still got my tickets to the Olympics, so if they allow fans, so I'm, I'm doing that. Uh, Thor Masters is in September, so, you know, I, the plan is to go to Denmark then. And uh, possibly World Championships that they allow fans as well. So the Danish are actually trying to get me to stay until the World Championships. Like, I can't do it. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> so when we talk about this stuff, you're always trying to expand into markets. And, you know, what has COVID done to business with Barbarian Apparel? It, it has killed, obviously, small a lot of small businesses, yeah. restaurants. How has it been to you? It's obviously been very good for uh, Defense Soap. We were we were kind of blessed finding the new building uh, at a great deal, and you know now we've kind of added that room, uh, better for our area, just bringing in people we don't see. Uh, but the masks have put us into areas that we probably never would have touched before, and uh, different kind of clients outside the wrestling world. Um, so it's opened up some some doors that are just now that wrestling's kind of back into the swing of things. You know, it just adds another avenue for us. So it's been kind of kind of a blessing, and you know, when we had the little one too, so it's kind of perfect timing for us. I got to stay home with you know little Addison. So she's a year now. It's crazy how time flies. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh man, my kid turned five on uh, on uh, Friday, and it, you know, Ferdinand's five, but she's running around the mats everywhere. The BA Center, the training center. Um, you can hold events there now. Yeah. You just get a streaming service, and you can yeah. literally hold events. That's what's wild. Yeah. Probably never thought that no, when, going no, into it, but now you yeah, can. Yeah, now it's been, it's been a thought. Uh, but yeah, I've talked. I got some things, you know, kind of thrown around. So I, eventually we'd like to do something like that. All right. What's the next event for you guys? Uh, I think I got a couple local ones. Uh, but probably, I mean, state would be the, the big one. Uh, Rick Rose got a bunch of things going on here and there. Could we get you to run a camera for Ohio Cast at one of the state tournaments? Give me to run it. 
run around? Uh, no, just, just literally press record and stand in front of the matches and watch matches. Can you do that? I could probably do it. All right. Well, that's a thought in my mind right now. So. Can you just make Caleb during my day. All right. Anything else for me? No. Nope. Thank you for the time. Yeah. Good luck to you guys. We're going to be obviously wear, keep wearing the gear, yep. keep doing the podcast, and you know keep keep plugging, keep yep. plugging away. All right. Thank you. All right. Conquer the impossible. Yep.